there. I hope this finds you all healthy and happy. And I am here to um, finish with you just uh, the tail end here of this little tag that I, I've been making. Um, uh, as some of you may have seen, I started off with some of my wax, uh, wax paints that I made and then finished this off with... Um, Oh, let's see. I put some lipstick on here. I put some acrylic paint on here. I put some um, Wild Honey Distress Ink um, down and tapped the card into that a little bit um, to make some of these yellowy marks here. Um, I found this little um, image here in my stash. It's a little card someone gifted to me. Um, and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I found a little flower that I um, stacked up to put on here and a little butterfly someone also gifted this to me and was so kind to fussy cut it out and everything I cannot I don't like to fussy cut at all <laughs> but um, so I really appreciate whoever did that for me and then I'm going to put this little word spring on here and this is going to be my um, contribution for um, Nina Ribena's art journal, art journal prompts and more. And um, this month of April, uh, the um, the um, prompt is spring. And um, so that's what my little card is going to look like. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the components down. But before I do uh, this, um, I printed this little word spring out on my... Um, with my um, my label maker, <laughs> I can't speak again, and um, and so I colored it a little bit with some um, some teal teal ink, and I think I'm gonna color in the flowers a little bit with the with this pretty gel pen if it'll write on here. I don't know if it will. I think it will dry on here, okay, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of color on the little flowers on at the edge of this border. Um, I love my label maker. It really comes in handy. Um, it wasn't super, super expensive. Um, um, trying to think which one it is. <laughs> oh my heavens. Uh, I will look it up and put it in the caption <laughs> down below for you. Um, but, um, of course, Mike um, Deacon, you know, uses his uh, label maker a lot. And uh, I, I debated for a long time wondering whether it would be, you know, worth it to, you know, to get one. And, um, boy, I'm so glad I did. So if you're... You know, on the fence, wondering about um, a label maker, um, go for it because they are really fun. That yellow is not coming out on there at all. So, let's see. Let's try this. Kind of a goldy yellow one. Well, that'll work. Just to give those little flowers at the edge of that border a little bit of color. And that's it. And so um, I'll go ahead and build up the um, components here. Uh, I, I um, got these little... Um, pop-up dots. I, I believe they were gifted to me by Amy um, a long time ago and uh, I have I literally hoard them <laughs> because they are different thicknesses like this one needed to be a little bit thinner and this one needed to be a little bit thicker and there are different thicknesses in the ones that she gave me and um, so I, I, I like hoard them, have been hoarding them forever um, because they're, they're just so handy. So 
Let me just put these down and I think the the um, butterfly needs some antenna. Antennae, antenna, antennae, I think it is. Whoopsie. Good thing that's pretty much where I wanted it to go, huh? Because <laughs> it just jumped out of my hands. Okay. And letting the little detail on that little um, word dry just a hair. I hope I can get this to come off. Okay. Well, I will speed through this one if if it takes me much longer here. Perhaps I'm not doing myself any good by hoarding them because it might be making it so they aren't they don't work. <laughs> There it comes. Yay! Okay. <laughs> they are very sticky and they they work so well and like I said they're different um different um thicknesses so I have the wide side over here and the little bit narrower side over here and it just makes the butterfly perfectly popped up from the page and um yeah. And he needs some antennae. Looks like he might need a head too. So, I don't know, we'll see how this comes out. I don't know if my marker, my little, uh, Is going to come work on this background. This um, background is so um, diverse. It's got all that stuff on it, so it's hard to get anything to to stick to it, and so on and so forth. That looks okay. Um, so let me see if my flowers are dry. Doesn't look like they are. Nope, I've got some of that gold coming up yet, so I'll wait to put that on so that I don't um, ruin it. One thing great about the label maker is you can, if I do ruin it, I can just print another one, <laughs> which is amazing. So, but anyway, that's what it's going to look like, and this is my little contribution for, again, for Nina Ribena's Art Journal Prompts and More. And the theme was, or the prompt was spring. So there we go. And um, thank you all for watching. Until I visit with you again, God bless you. Bye. Hi, just coming back on really quickly to show you um, that I added a little tiny flat back pearl or a little flatback pearl in the center of my flower here and I also added some of these awesome fibers that uh, uh, Tanya McGuire gifted to me um, she sent me these and I um, was just over the moon um, with them and as because as you can see they look so cool um, when you make a tag so um, that's the finished uh, finished piece then and um, 
and uh, I really appreciate you all watching and all my subbies and uh, old and new and uh, till we visit next time God bless you bye